today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impressions on some stuff that came in my Ipsy bag this month. I know it's probably pretty late, but by the time you get you see this, it'll probably be a little bit late. But I got a lot of good things this month, so I want to test them out. So I thought, why not film it on camera? So this is the bag. It's really cute. Honestly, I have so many bags though now from like doing Ipsy for like the past year. So these bags are literally like all over my house. I'll start with the products that I can't use, like hair products. So we got this Chai Curl Curl Cream by Tissa Soda. I don't know. It's a cream for curly hair. This I will try because my hair is curly. I don't know. It's like a 5 in 1 defining curl cream. Let's see. Oh. If I could open it. That smells really interesting. So. I'll leave in the description box how this goes. I'll probably try it out tomorrow. I'll also try it out today. But my hair is like really dirty because I've been washing it in like two days. So I really don't. I don't like putting product in my hair when it's dirty. This mascara. It's Mac slash Volumous Mascara. And I honestly don't know what brand this is. But I really like the. I saw the wand of this and like I really like the wand. So let's see how this works. I'm gonna use that today. I got the Makeup Forever Aqua XL eye, pen, eye pencils. I heard a lot about these, so I'm excited. This one's in black. I haven't even opened it yet. That's okay. Let's look at this. It just broke. Okay, so we're gonna need a shop in this, but I guess I'll just do a swatch though, even though it broke. Nice, like a foot. Oh, it's really creamy. That's a swatch of it. Oh, yeah. I've seen these before, but I never, like, actually gotten one. This is the next whipped and foulette. Some French word. It's a lip and cheek cream. And the color I got is Cocoa Bean. I've never tried, like, a blush like this so I'm kind of scared but we'll see how that goes and last but not least this is what I'm most excited for this is what really inspired me to do this video because I, I knew I wanted to do a tutorial with this shadow this is the city color cosmetics shimmer shadow in oh beach cottage I don't know why I didn't see that my bad Open. it's so pretty oh my god I swatched it last night because I, I just had to touch it it's so creamy and just, I don't even know how to describe this. It's like green, but it has like gold glitter in it that makes it look so pretty when the light hits it. I hope the camera picks that up. So yeah, this, like the whole look is going to be based off this shadow because I just saw it and like, I think it's perfect for summer. This is going to be a very nice summer tutorial. Okay, so if you want to see how to get whatever I'm about to create, keep on watching. I already did my brows and primed my eyes off camera. So before I jump right into the shadow, I just obviously want to do some crease colors. So I'm going into my Modern Renaissance palette. And let's go with... We'll start with Burnt Orange. And I'm just going to put that... And the crease has a transition color. And I'm using my Wet n Wild crease brush. One of my fave crease brushes at the moment. Using my little elf brush. We're gonna go right under that color with Real God. Not a lot, just add a little more orange in there just for some fun then out I'm gonna use my big real techniques brush not putting any shadow just blending everything out the fun part I've been waiting for 
I'm gonna put the City Colors Shadow in Beach Cottage all over my lid. I'm gonna use, I also use a brush, but honestly, with lid colors, especially like colors, I like to always use my finger. I'm kind of obsessed. I'm just gonna blend it out more with this same crease brush so I can move on to the face. So I almost forgot, I went to Ulta this week and I got, which I'm really excited to try, the Eagle Tours Beauty Blender, makeup sponge, whatever you wanna call it. And I have not gotta try it out yet, so I'm gonna try it out now for my foundation. Oh, I didn't prime. We're using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Put that all over the face. I'm also going to use a pro another product kind of new to me. This is the Infalli Infal oh my god, L'Oreal Infal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I got this last week. I only wore it a couple times and I really like it. Now we're going to go in with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. First impressions, I like this sponge a lot. I'm using my usual RCMA No Color Powder. Okay. under my eyes with that while I use my big brush and I take the same powder to set the rest of my face. I think I should have used this before I set but I mean I guess we still try it now. Just a little bit. Oh god. I don't want to mess everything up. Oh god no. It's alright, it's... I feel like it's too pigmented to be a blush. It blends out really nicely. Mm, just blending it on the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna use my Benefit Hula. So taking the same, I'm just gonna take the same two oranges, burnt orange and rear gear, mix them together and go under. Alright, oh yeah, now we're gonna test out we're gonna test out the Makeup Forever Professional Aqua XL eye pencil. Put this in. The tight line. Now we're gonna try out the mascara. Okay, so here goes. I put two layers of that mascara. Um, I like it, but I just can't just use one mascara. So I said I'm not gonna go with lashes because I think we got a good start here, but it just needs a little bit more. So I'm gonna add. Better Than Sex by Too Faced and The Fossies Plus Up Drama by Maybelline. Now we already added that blush. I don't really think we need any more. I think my cheek, mm, maybe just a little bit. I'm just gonna add the Milani Baked Blush in Rose Dior, something like that. Just a little bit. We're going to highlight with Eclipse by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And call it Cupid's Bow. 
Now we're gonna use the same NYX whipped thing for the lips because it says it's a lip and a cheek cream. Let's set everything. I'm running out of this. And that is the completed look. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. I hope you enjoyed all the first impressions on all these new products I got. See you next time.